Hello and welcome to my Sunday show. Um, this is a show where I connect to amazing profiles in the spirit world. And today we have um, an interesting soul that's stepped forward for, with me, and that is Mahatma Gandhi. And he is somebody that I have had actually Interestingly enough, I've had a lot of interest in him because I, when I was in India, I was able to see where he lived and went to um, sort of a house that, that was a, like, has been turned into a museum and saw some of the letters that he wrote. And um, it was very interesting. Anyway, let's see what he has to say. Um, he's, he's saying to me that he's very honoured to speak um, through me today and give his words to to the um the, the general public uh he says that um in the spirit world his life there is very different to the one that he led when he was on the earth plane because he's saying that when he was on the earth plane he it was very important to him to obtain freedom for many people and to be able to give freedom to to his country to the poor people, to the untouchables. And, and this was something that was a real mission. Not only did he do this in, in, um, in India, but he achieved so much in South Africa. And he's saying that, that since he's been in the spirit world, he's attempted to um, help people who require freedom um, on the earth plane and in the spirit world because he says that there are people that come to the spirit world and in their minds they're, they're not free because they they are troubled from their lives and haven't been and they're not released from the burdens of their life and he says that he works tirelessly um, with people in the spirit world to help them release and, and be be free um, in other words, what he's saying is he's, he's all about freedom. Freedom is, is so important to him. Um, and he's talking about God. And he says that um, God has personally instructed him that he wishes um, him to help as many people, um, not only on the, um, in the spirit world, but he also now wishes him to help people on the earth plane. Because he sees that still today, even you know, um, seventy years on from from his his achievements, he sees that that people are still not uh, still not free um, from from uh, they're still not free from the burdens of of our society. And he particularly would like to talk about people in India, and he's talking about how um, many people live in such poverty that they that it's it's the their financial circumstances that stops them from being free and he says that there is a real hierarchical system in in India where if you are born into the right family and and the right caste then you are secured um, a good life ahead of you but if you're born into say the untouchables or a lower caste then that's where you'll be for for most of your life he says in other words it's very difficult to usurp into another caste and be different um, as a result he's also talking about um, um, South Africa and he's talking about some of the troubles with with race and he says that um, um, it's almost as though all different sections of race are, are prejudiced in one way or another against another. And, um, and this is something that he, he really sort of saddens him. And he wishes that, that people would, would view each person for the soul that they are and not for the color of their skin or the life that they are living on this earth because you never know exactly who you are commu who you are talking to because he's saying that the beggar on the street 
could be a very highly evolved soul. You know, the, the, the person with the wrong colour of skin could be a very highly evolved soul. And you can gain so much from being in the company of somebody that's more highly evolved because they will have a different view and a different way of looking at life other than um, somebody who is perhaps not so evolved. And he's, he's asking people to think about each person that they come across and think about each um, life that needs to be cherished. Because he says that um, each life that someone lives it, it on the earth plane is in a way has been orchestrated by God. And whilst God gives everybody free will to do as they please on the earth plane, the initial life has been set and set in stone for, for the soul's growth and the soul's understanding of life. But if in somebody's free will, they block the freedom of that and the freedom of choice and the freedom of mind, then in a way it blocks the ability of the soul to progress to, to a, a, a different level because they'll be stuck under that ceiling of, of life. He's talking about Martin Luther King and he says that he is a great friend of his um, in the spirit world and I believe he was a great friend of his um, on the earth plane. And he's talking about how they they regularly chat about about racism and 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 the need for mankind to see everybody for the soul that they are, and this is why um, he decided particularly today that he wanted to um, engage with people and talk about how we should look at their soul, look at the spirit, look at the person that they have become rather than uh, the colour of their skin, the, the, the life that they're leading. He's talking about God now and he says that um, he reveres God greatly and wants, um, wants people to understand that Life without God is not a life at all because what he does for mankind and how he helps mankind is quite astonishing. He, he always gives and he always tries to enhance people's lives. Sometimes he says that, that many people are saddened by, or, so, or rather, sorry, God is saddened by many people and um, because of their actions, but he never stops to help, never stops to give, and never stops to try and encourage um, human beings to be better than they, that than they have been so far. He says that he he's very grateful to be able to talk, very grateful to cre try and create an understanding that life is about the spirit and the spirit within, rather than the life that we are leading today. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.